This video is very disturbing to me, but I'm getting to understand that it, things will never get better because there are uh, people that actually support this type of behavior, right? Now, as much as Jamaica has a crime problem and as much as we want police officers to actually be doing their jobs and stay on top of things and serve and protect, we still don't want police officers that go renegade and go ape shit every time somebody pulls out a camera or somebody says something to them that they feel like their ego has been bruised or something. Let's start the video up by saying this because somebody said, so Flow TV, I notice say I always I make video, I bash the police them. I don't make videos bashing police. I make videos bashing dirty, incompetent, corrupted police officers and we cannot sit here and act like they don't exist. Everybody knows that they do exist more than anything else in Jamaica. I've always started out these videos by saying that there are honest, good people out there who put on the police uniform every day and actually go out there to serve and protect. I'm not talking about the ones who see the, um, their cronies doing stuff because if you're a police officer and you're witnessing other police officers doing things that are outside of the law, and you're not reporting it, then you're just as much to be blamed. If you're covering up or trying to turn a blind eye, you're just as much to be blamed. I'm talking about the good police officer, them were down in the mix up, them actually go out there, go do them work for real, right? Now, this police officer here was not one of them though. I switch on my thing the other morning and I see this man. This police officer, him say, yo, you lick my, you lick my mirror and run up, pull out his service pistol, run up in the camera of a man recording him. I'm bothered by the fact that there are Jamaicans in the comment section that are saying stuff like, why them never arrest the man for obstructing the police officer during his duty? How are you obstructing when you're videotaping from far away? This is more like the police had something to hide. Right, because he obviously stopped paying attention to what was at hand and felt like the videotaping guy was more of a threat than anything. What was he a threat of? Exposing you for not doing things the way you're supposed to be doing things by the law? Could it be? Someone said, what if he had accidentally shot the man? I see no need for him drawing his service pistol. I hope he is disciplined appropriately or removed from the force. It's persons like this one that put the JCF Jamaica Constabulary Force in a bad light. And this person is absolutely correct. It is people like these that put the JCF in a bad light. JCF, an office start, weed out them here. Them boomy, trigger happy, crazy ass people here that probably would fail a psych eval if given one. Probably go home and beat up them women and cow down them, picnic them, and then come back in uniform every day. Probably power hungry and crazy as shit. Now, the inspector of the constabulary force has launched an investigation over the footage apparently showing a policeman attacking a member of the public who had been recording a confrontation between the cops and a motorist. I remember seeing the video and all the man was saying is, a taxi man you know what do so you know? A taxi man you know what do so you know? That's all he kept saying and he was recording it. Now, a taxi man you know what do so to it implied to me that a taxi man is a man that run a certain well needed service within the community, don't it? Him get you to and from on time more reliable than our bus system or public transportation system is. So they are very valuable within the community. So the man I say a taxi man you know what do so you know. The undated 22 second clip which had been making the rounds on social media shows what appears to be police officer confronting the motorist. The voice of a male who appears to be videotaping the confrontation could be heard pleading with the policeman. See there? A taxi man you know what deal with so you know brethren. The police officer apparently turned, not apparently, he did in the video, turned to the man recording the video and attacked him with his service pistol in hand before a tussle ensues. And that's all we saw. The video camera start go like this, 
which mean him a wrap up the man. I don't know if he was trying to beat him up, take him thing. In response to the query, the Jamaican constabulary force told the Loop News that it takes seriously all these allegations of abuse by any of its members and is making it clear that there is no place for unprofessional conduct within the organization. Alright? If such is the case then, this video is enough to actually do something. Because he ran at this man that was videotaping him, drawing his service pistol, pointing it in the direction of. Now, for those of us who handle guns, we know how easy it is to actually fire one off. You running towards somebody, drawing your gun and pointing it directly at them. Are our JCF officers not taught that you never point a weapon at someone unless you intend to actually use it? You just draw a weapon. This is intimidation. So you just draw the weapon like that and you never actually fired around. What if you had accidentally buck your toe while running or trip while running? Remember the pregnant girl with dead a sent on where the police officer shoot? You know that a part of that story was that the tussle ensued between him and a nine month old pregnant woman. And he tripped. He tripped and she was shot in the head. So it's not like it's something they would make up. It's something they've said before and they've used in defense before of a killing cop. So what if you had tripped? Buck your toe on your way down. Trigger squeeze, kill this man on camera. What had he done? Nothing. I heard you. I heard the police officer saying something about his side mirror. I you did lick my side mirror, and I did a little one minute video on Instagram. But I felt the need to do this whole video. Like, is a life worth more? Is a life worth less than a side mirror to you? Remember, Junior Gang didn't do one song when talk about how them drive. 10 grand worth of government larder and I act like so them not upon the same plantation that them brother they upon. Going back to the video that Popcorn released recently on social media where I'm talking about Bossy Slave along with a bunch of other expletive BBC, RC, PC cuss out, well cuss out the man and left his full name and everything on social media Bossy slave police boy, he said. Some of these police boy are hungry for power as hell. And they do take their authority to the next level. Right? Somebody just said to me one time, if you want if you want to see a police, out police, any police, or a soldier, out soldier, any soldier, put the uniform on a black man. Yeah. Anyway, it's Soflow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think should happen to this police officer. Watch the video clip and tell me what you think should happen to this police officer. Or do you think that the guy that was filming had no right to be filming and should be dealt with in some kind of legal way? Someone said that in some countries it's against the law to video a police officer in the line of duty. I am absolutely sure that it's not the same in Jamaica. And if it is, then Jamaica must be a dictatorship and not a democratic society. Alright, mega left it right, that's all. I'm out. Peace.